Hi, my name's Herlang Harad and I'm one of the Black Rhino Keepers here at Flamingo Land. Welcome to another episode of Zoo TV where you can find out all the information about our latest conservation work. to visit us um, and live with us from uh, Folly Farm in South Wales um, and he will be joining our two rhinos who we currently have here. We have um, Samira and we have Jabali. So Samira is 22 and she's the mum of Jabali who was two a couple of days ago. So what we're doing now is we just want to keep them all nice and settled. Um, they know something's going on so they're slightly unsettled. Um, so we're just putting some food in at the moment. So we've got lucerne in here for them, um, which is similar to hay, slightly different. And then we've also got some um, rhino nuts, black rhino nuts, which um, they love. Samira came to us um, from Zurich and uh, probably about eight years now ago or so. Um, and we brought in a, another male called Magadi who um, we actually managed to breed with Samira. So then Samira had um, her calf, which is Jabali, who we have now. Um, and this that's the current state that we're in. So obviously we have a new male who should be arriving today, who is three years old. And he will be joining these two. And hopefully in the future, we'll be able to breed from Samira again. <laughs> So the black rhino currently is uh, classed as critically endangered, um, so there's not many of them left in the wild. There's in fact just roughly over 6,000 left in the wild now. Um, numbers are slightly creeping up due to the work that the zoos are, are doing through us releasing these rhinos into the wild. We are then obviously starting to get the numbers back up, but it's by no means safe yet. We have still got a lot of work to do in order to get those numbers back to what they should be. These rhinos are eastern um, black rhinos, so eastern parts of Africa is where they originate from. Um, so the rhinos um, currently are in Kenya, Tanzania um, and Rwanda. So Rwanda is the project that we've been a part of. Um, and critically endangered means that if we let the numbers drop any further, they could become extinct. So flamingo land, um, we, we tend to breed these animals um, to keep their genetics going, to, to make sure that we still have these animals present on, on our planet. Um, and we've also been part of release projects so we have sent um, one of our rhinos out to Rwanda um, for, to, again, to help boost the numbers of the species. Um, and that's just what we're going to continue to do. They're both out. <laughs> so um, I had a message this morning from one of the keepers who works with Glyn and um, they set off, I think it was about um, half, half past nine when he got put on the wagon and they actually left South Wales at about half ten-ish uh, and it's roughly a six hour drive up here um, but they have stopped so that they could give him some fresh water, give him a drink and check him over um, and he's due to arrive here uh, about half six, six to half six. So uh, 
our young males just arrived. Um, the wagons are fair old size, uh, so we're just leaving it to the crane guys uh, just so they can get him off safely. Um, it's something that we've done quite a few times before. The boxes, we know it fits nicely and we know how it works because it's our box. So yeah, just want to get my eyes on him really and get him off un unloaded and yeah, and then we'll all be happy. on the end of his nose, not a scratch on him, so yeah, really pleased so far. Obviously, I'm here as a vet, so I'm just gonna. I um, was interested in if he obviously had any injuries. Um, it was a really long journey that he had to go through today, so I'm really glad that he's arrived safely to us. Um, so it's always quite stressful for us to see if um, um, to see if an animal is harmed in any way. We wouldn't want that. We will just keep things very calm and uh, calm and normal for him just because it will all be new sounds to him, new smells for him so we want him to be relaxed and comfortable. He'll already be able to sense that there's another two rhinos present so we'll just have to keep an eye on both sets of rhinos for now. Um, and then gradually we will kind of get them used to each other through gates, through fences 
Um, and the idea is to hopefully mix our young male Jabali in with him as company until he is old enough to breed, because he is only three years old, three and a half years old at the moment. Um, so it'll be another couple of years before we can actually mix him in with the female. Jabali is at that age now where we are looking to split him away from his mum. He is almost weaned. So in the next 12 months, hopefully, we can then get them both integrated so that they have company together. It might be that we only have them together for the odd day um, and then split overnight. Um, Or it might just be if they hit it off from the get-go, then we can just monitor them and see how they get on. Tiny Albin? Sit by. Oh, this woman looks like a parrot. <laughs> right, so tomorrow is Welsh lessons first thing in the morning. Yeah. <laughs>